Hello friends, welcome to our channel. If you are new on the channel, just subscribe to our channel by hitting the subscribe button. On this channel, you will get informative videos on diverse set of topics. Today we are starting our first series, Transforming India. In this series, we will be uploading videos about the steps India took and will take to transform its core sector in order to become a global powerhouse. In this topic, our first video will be on NSGM. National Smart Grid Mission Indian power sector was in stress due to the huge losses incurred by the discoms. We call it distribution companies. If you have followed the press conference of our finance minister, Ms. Nirmala Sitharaman, she gave a huge relief of 90,000 crores to discoms due to the discoms financial conditions. Because in the past, few decades, discoms were in great loss due to the old infrastructure of our billing system in power sector. So in this video, we will be focusing on NSGM. We will understand that why India implemented NSGM and how they are transforming the power sector. So NSGM is a body under the Ministry of Power. Indian government established this body in 2015. NSGM currently works under the Ministry of Power, but they have its own resources. In NSGM, they can implement their own strategies, they can implement their own work culture, they are independent of Ministry of Power directions. So NSGM is launched due to the failure of the old power sector infrastructure. Because of that, the discoms were getting huge losses and majorly the independent power producers are also not paying the loans because they are also not getting the payments from the discoms. So it's a vicious circle in which our power sector was in to th before 2014. So this government in their regime, in starting of their government in 2015-16, they have launched many schemes and one of the schemes is NSGM. So NSGM, they have three levels of hierarchy in their system. So you can see in this slide, the first level is the governing counseling level. It was headed by the Ministry of Power and the head is the Minister of Power. Currently, RK Singh who is the Minister of State for Power Ministry is heading this council. The second level is Empowered Committee, headed by the Secretary. So the current Secretary of the Power Industry is Mr. Sanjeev Nandan Sahai. He is an IS officer of 1986 batch. There is also a supportive level technical committee, which is headed by the chairperson of CEA. CEA is Central Electricity Authority and Mr. Prakash. Mahaske is the head. So the third level of NSGM is the project management unit. So there are two types of project management unit. One is national level project management unit and one is state level. So currently national level project management unit is headed by Arun Kumar Mishra. And the state level, there are secretaries who are working there. So this is the structure. So you can see that the governing council is only here the guidance force in this ministry. So they are not the decision maker. The decision starts from second level. So in NSGM, at the starting in 2014, because to, uh, in 2015 they have made this body, but the strategies and implementation already started in 2014. So in 2014, Indian government has set up two phases of this mission. So first phase, was from 2014 to 17 and the second phase was of 14 sorry 17 to 20 so phase one as you can see in this slide phase one started in 2014 to 17 and during this period indian government has also announced a scheme that is called as ujwal discom assurance yojana Uday. so this was majorly focusing on the ATNC losses 
and the theft losses of power distribution companies so due to this they are incurring a great loss and they have implemented smart meters so in next topics we will discuss about smart meters in detail but during this phase indian government has also merged this or their scheme with this mission as well so there are many missions and many schemes that are working in tandem so government also drafted in this phase some of the key pointers on which we have to look because it's a transformation not in one or two years but we have to start from something so in phase 1 there were some pointers which were more most important so you can see we have listed some of the pointers so first was the deployment of smart meters and ami so as we told that uday scheme is also uh, involving the smart meters and ami is the advanced metering infrastructure in smart meters they are now integrating the it modules and the old electronic meters with a sap ioc module so they can get 24 into 7 information so this is also a new thing and they have already started working in uttar pradesh bihar haryana and delhi so first pilot project was held in ndmc delhi region second important thing was renovation of the substations so substation currently if uh, you are from power industry you can see that from past we are using ais air insulated substation but now government has recommended for gis gas insulated substation on a easier note the maintenance of gis is usually of decades just like in 10 to 15 years we can do a maintenance work but for ais we need to maintain or we need to check the substation every year so the cost is higher on the higher side so that's why they want to transform it they are also looking for developing the medium size micro grids so there will be less losses in that development of distributed generation in form of rooftop pvs we have already discussed in past videos if you have not seen my last videos you can click on the i button you will get so rooftop pvs are also under renewable energy real time monitoring and control of distribution transformers we have already seen the smart meters harmonic filters they are usually uh, used for lowering the tolerance level of these power cuts majorly seventh is the creation of ev charging so as you as you know that uh, recently uh, our transport minister nitin gadkari has also said that india is also looking for ev and they have also launched some charging station as well in the next slide we will see phase 2 phase 2 uh, was started in 2017 and it was supposed to achieve the objectives by 2020 but still we are far and there are many things that we have also taken from phase 1 we have not developed just like the charging station the smart meters we have only deployed uh, 12 lakhs smart meters so it's very less uh, for for india but we have to go but it's a new thing that has started it will take time so phase 2 uh, was also impacted because of the sudden decrease in energy demand because many of the industry they have shut because of uh, uh, the demand is going low and also you know that automotive sector is also going down so ev the the, the customers are not uh, in favorable uh, idea to go for ev now so that's why they have to create certain um, advertisement or certain things the advantageous side of uh, electric vehicles to indian people because currently they are not very favorable but now uh, every state government is now involving in that so phase 2 there was similar like uh, enable access to availability of quality power uh, loss reduction was there and ami roll out just like smart meters uh, the tariffs there will be there should be dynamic tariffs according to the demand of the uh, customer it it should go and they have to integrate the smart meters to the solar grids as well green power and energy efficiency we have already talked about renewable energy that india is now moving from non renewable resources to renewable resources coal is is not now the priority only solar and wind is the priority 
and second thing we have also discussed in in the renewable energy sector that there is a hybrid project that is coming in right now so hybrid project would also be going to have the charging storage the charge should be stored and it's majorly working in energy storage in many companies like hero future energies ecme they have also started and they have some energy storage systems with them so this is uh, about nsgm that how they have structured how the phases have been developed and all but uh, many things are to be done but it's a good initiative by india and many uh, foreign companies like edf international networks uh, it's a french company uh, they are also pioneers in this uh, smart metering project they have also come to india to implement it so this is good for india so in the next slide uh, we will see how the recent news is developed uh, in accordance to these smart grids so in february uh, power ministry announced that they have installed 10 lakh smart meters so it's a good achievement but uh, it's 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 very small achievement for for india because uh, what what we have seen that it's only 1 million meters but the market is of 250 million meters to be deployed so it's a very big market we have to do we have to pull up the pace as well so we will talk about the smart meter national program as well second uh, mr nitin gadkari has told that india is acquiring lithium mines uh, for ev batteries because now the next big thing will be electric vehicles in india so they they have to acquire the lithium batteries and if you follow the news that china has already acquired 80 percent of the mines because they know that it will be used in future uh, recently i think so uh, on 7th august uh, delhi cms launched the electric vehicle policy and uh, they are now developing a separate uh, department for them as well and they are focusing and they are aiming that in next five years five uh, lakh registration of electric vehicles will be there so in delhi is also coming up uh, in the pace that uh, we have to look for the future uh, mr rk singh inaugurated esl's ev charging plaza uh, at chemsford club in new delhi it's it's a five uh, charging point station over there and uh, it's it's first time in india and it's recent uh, i think so it's in july they have done it so now you can see why i'm telling you this uh, in this recent news is because in recent news is you can see that on which on which department they are focusing on on which sector they are focusing on so you can see that in past five six uh, months even for even there is a covid as well but indian government is focusing on the smart grids and they are more involved into that because they know that they need this and also uh, one of the things that government is also encouraging manufacturing of the solar cells and uh, solar panels because now there is a rift there is a standoff between india and china and most of the uh, modules are coming from china so that's why they uh, they are coming up with manufacturing units and and the last is the amendment in Le electricity act 2003 so it is more inclined towards the privatization of electricity department and there is also protest controversy we will look into this in next videos but uh, there is a protest also from uh, solar engineers or uh, energy sector engineers that um, they know that if there is a private player coming in so there will be reshuffle in the in the workforce so they they will lose their job or something so we will end this video here uh, in this video you will get to know what nsgm some things about the recent news what is the faces of nsgm and it is just a start uh, we we'd make this video to just give our audience a bit of an outline that what is going on in the country and how they are transforming it so it's it's uh, a effort from our side to give you information uh, about the new happenings in india and how india is moving towards it so thank you for seeing this video till end and uh, if you like this video just hit the like button and if you are new on the channel just subscribe to our channel and we will be back with our new video thank you for your support